<laughs> uh, my name is uh, Mushaneta Melissa Vandira. Um, welcome to Bereko Organic Farm. My name is Mchaneta Melissa Vandira. Um, I actually, I'm born in Zimbabwe. Uh, I lived in Zimbabwe uh, from zero years to my 20th in 1994. And then I left for the Netherlands, where I lived for the past uh, 29 to 30 years. Um, of course, I've learned a lot in life. You know, the time that I decided to come back to Zimbabwe, I came with this uh, mindset which was influenced by my parents, uh, how I grew up going to the village, living in the uh, urban area in Harare, and uh, that's why I went partly to school, uh, primary school, then I finished my, my primary school in Mashingu in our village. And that's why I've learned a lot as a child. Uh, what I've learned was actually practically organic farming, what we call organic farming today, of course, but that is our cultural, uh, cultural practice, or actually our traditional way of living, which everybody uh, practiced from day to day. Um, so when I came back from Europe, I realized that uh, the lifestyle that I was living there changed me, changed my, uh, my health, also changed my way of thinking. But in, a, in the same way, I stayed grounded as a Zimbabwean because the first 20 years of my life taught me more than I've learned in the past 30 years, uh, which brought me to this place where I am now, which, is, which we call Mbereko Organic Farm. I will explain a little bit later why Mbereko and why organic farming. 
uh, it's also a home where we are living, where we are growing our own food, where we are actually practicing back to basics, how to survive, survival skills, which, are, which is no longer a, a normal uh, lifestyle the day of today. To, before, when we were growing up, it was just a normal lifestyle, of course, because we, we knew we had cows, we had, uh, we had chickens running around, we called them road runners, of course. We had um, all sorts of uh, livestock at home, like goats. Um, so I grew up in a very rich community where people were communi communicating properly, where people could actually uh, raise the kids as a village. So I could be corrected by a, a neighbor or someone from afar who lives in the same community, which is also no longer the same today. So what drove me to build this homestead where I live is because I've realized that there's so much individualism that is, that is now okay in, in our world. It's not only in Europe, but even in Africa today, because we have acquired and adapted the mentality which, we, which was brought by the Western uh, culture. Um, at the moment, sitting here, I am actually fascinated telling this story of um, creating our own food. Um, the food that we are eating today is processed. Of course, it may be necessary for those who think the world is now full of people, so people need food to eat. But if we teach each other to make use of our land, that we have the virgin land that we have, or even if the land has been fertilized or maybe chemicalized, if I may say it that way, it means we can also heal the land, heal the soil. Healing the soil means that we don't use chemicals on the, in the ground. Uh, instead, we just grow our food following the nature, actually following the seasons, like the way uh, we would call them Mazdateguru now, because those were our parents. Because I grew up in that generation in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, in my stay in Europe, where I studied and got married and have three children, I have then uh, decided to uh, write a book about my lifestyle uh, in Europe comparable to African lifestyle that I uh, uh, had when I lived in Zimbabwe. So this book consists of uh, especially Bereko, Bereko being the caring culture, uh, being the way of living, the lifestyle that has been practiced way back from the times that uh, we even were not existing. Um, but as time moved on, people, as I mentioned before, adapted the Western lifestyle, which actually divide uh, people from the family to the society, actually, because once a family is divided, then the society is also divided, which means when there's no bonding between a mother and a child, a father and a child. It means there, isn't, there is no bonding between the whole family. Uh, why bonding? Because through Mbereko, we carry each other, we carry the baby, as we carry the baby in the womb during the pregnancy. So when the baby is in the womb during the pregnancy, it means um, the baby is protected, feeling safe, uh, feeling the mother's heartbeat and every other movement that happens in, the, in their womb. But once the baby is out there, they are in a new world. Yes, we, we are allowed to behave like animals that they some, at some point leave their children to discover their own world. But there are these first four years where these are very crucial years where a child, a newborn with zero months to four years, who is in need of the parent, who is dependent, or 100% dependent. And what is it that us as parents are doing today in bringing up such children, such babies? So far, a lot is going wrong. And I've discovered in Europe, 
they thought they're doing the right thing because everything is like in a practical way they think a mother is working the father is working at home there's no one they bring the child to the crash and then they've lost contact with the child what people never researched and studied was the attachment between the family attachment between the mother and the child breastfeeding becomes one of the most important thing to continue breastfeeding you have to carry your baby so that the hormonally you are close to your baby you cannot only keep your baby close to you all the time because you need your hands free so when you have your hands free you carry your baby you can't carry your baby continuously in front because you are no, not very free as we call freedom when your child is at your back some people thought carrying a baby at the back is not safe uh, you can't use your eyes to control the safety of the baby, but it's actually about the sense of feeling, which is, of course, in the book which we wrote. We have done research on human behavior psychologically, human behavior at a social level, human behavior at a biological level, human behavior at a physical level. So you can see that the day of today, the human beings are no longer the same as before. We may call it primitive, how people used to behave long back, but they were united, which is something that we cannot deny, that they could at least communicate, they could correct each other, they could carry each other in every little problem that they could have. And um, not alone, let alone the, the marriages, how they were guiding their, their, their daughters and their sons. They were there as a community, as a family, who were experienced in giving birth, in guiding through throughout the whole life. So you can see that those marriages were never broken. But today you see that people are married today. Some, some marriages are lasting one year. Some marriages are no longer lasting even because people are now thinking that money or wealth is what keeps everything intact. Yet it's not that at all. It's the bonding that we talk about in the book. So we refer you to the book for the deeper information about all the physical, psychological, social, and biological uh, its aspects and effects Bereko has on the human behavior. Um, with the book, uh, we are going to, actually, we are already in the middle of uh, 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 providing uh, seminars. We move from place to place uh, providing presentations and we are also providing workshops and at the same time we offer our space Bereko Organic Farm as a touristic resort where you can learn not only about Bereko but you learn about organic farming. So organic lifestyle, uh, if you don't want to do farming, of course, we can show you how we have harvested our crops. So these are the crops that we talk about. The munga, uh, mapfunde, and ruqueza. Those are the main grains that have been grown in Africa, especially in Zimbabwe, where I come from. These grains, uh, actually very nutritious but at the same time easily digested compared to other other types of food that we are eating today so if you look at how people look like today they are no longer healthy compared to the old people the people who grew up in the times when everybody was growing the grains that were healthy so through mbereko organic farming and through mbereko caring culture we are, we are bringing back that part of culture in practice, even though there's so much that we need to do as healing, as a healing process. The healing process is not only for human beings, but the healing process is also for our nature. Nature being the soil, nature being the trees, nature being the air that we are breathing. It's in our hands. We have to control this. How do we control it? Uh, we can't control this only using science, but we have to control this, respecting nature, 
the seasons that we knew we had, were there. We know the sun comes up, it goes down. It's consistent. We know the moon comes. It's also very consistent. If we follow those seasons, I know that for the generation of today, it's not, not something that we say, just do it for today, just do it tomorrow and you are, you are, you are ready, you know. But it's something that we now need to teach. We have to bring people who know about it and people who do not know about it. Bring those together and we teach. So we are bringing those people together through the gatherings, as conversations, that's how we start off with. It's a free entry when we come. When you come together, we do a conversation, we talk to somebody who know a little bit more, and you know something maybe from your generation, you come together and you exchange the knowledge. And we don't only exchange the knowledge, and through the exchanging of knowledge, we bring you to Bereko Organic. Uh, farm organic uh, caring culture where we are actually as a group of people going to practice and taste the food that we are talking about the food is there because we are growing it at our farm now we are um, in Zimbabwe and we have uh, set uh, places where we give workshops on Bereko and also organic lifestyle. And uh, we provide uh, seminars and presentations. Uh, we, are in, we are found in Harare, in the National Gallery of Zimbabwe. Uh, we are found in Mutare, also National Gallery, and Blawayo, Guruve, uh, Victoria Falls, we also have our products there, books and bereko um, that are sold in the shops of the National Galleries of Zimbabwe. Uh, we are also uh, uh, free to be booked if you have uh, gathered uh, your own group of people so we can uh, actually come along um, with some charges. And um, already we are moving towards uh, other African countries where we can travel to and provide the workshops, even courses for the group of, groups of people that are prepared to be our agency as Mbereko. We have a, a new concept that we have already started in Europe uh, where we, of course, published our book uh, this concept is called Baby Care Workout. Baby Care Workout is a concept where a mother and a child or a father and a child do some workouts and dance to, to, to stay fit. Um, the concept came from, again, the cultural practices that were always been done in Africa. If you people know already, you know an African woman who is working in their field, and uh, whilst carrying their baby. And those people are always forever healthy. It's because they are fit, they carry water, they carry all sorts of things while the baby's at the back. And uh, the concept of baby care workout started in such a way that when we did the research, we realized that a child or a newborn gains one kilogram per month, approximately. And as the child grows, it means they become heavier. But comparable to somebody who is in a gym class trying to do uh, training, yes, and then these ones, you see that uh, training without a, a, a child left at home is also a detachment between a mother and a child. But when a mother is carrying a baby or a parent is carrying a baby or a, a toddler, they become fit whilst the baby is safe at the back. Baby care workout is in different areas as well, in Harare, in the mentioned uh, uh, places in Zimbabwe and we are also going to take it throughout Africa. Already we are in Europe. Um, with these uh, presentations we uh, gather people but we also visit. Sem applies to seminars so please feel free to call us. We are found in on Instagram especially on Facebook and you can also send us an email through our uh, blog. We have a blog called humansbonded.com, um, bereko.academy 
and bereka.blog. And we are on Twitter, not very active as it um, uh, so far, but we are available there. You can find us if you type our names, Baby Kerry Workout and Bereko. We are also on LinkedIn. So you can send us an email or WhatsApp. So uh, you can find us through our number in Zimbabwe, plus 263-71-453. Seven zero nine five, and our email address is bereka baby wearing at gmail dot com. And if you go on Google, you can type Michaneta Vandira Melissa Budding, and you can find a lot about what we have been writing about. Thank you. Yeah.